Hello everyone, welcome to Weird Wikipedia, I'm your host Austin, and today we are talking about the 50s progression. Now, this doesn't appear on the Unusual Articles Wikipedia page, I have to make my own summary, and uh, my summary is a chord progression associated with the 1950s, even though the first popular song to use it was in the 1930s. In this video, I'm also going to have a, at least a short list of songs that use the progression. As previously mentioned, the 50s progression was a chord progression that gained popularity in the 1950s. It also goes by names like the heart and soul chords, the stand by me changes, the doo-wop progression, and ice cream changes. These names reflect its association with doo-wop songs from the 50s and early 60s, and its use in songs like Heart and Soul, and Stand By Me. The progression consists of the 1, 6, 4, and 5 chords of the key, and in the in the key of C major, that is C, A minor, F, and G. Originally composed in 1934, the song Blue Moon used a variation of the progression that used the two chord instead of the four chord, but it is commonly performed with the four chord, depending on the performer. And Blue Moon served as inspiration for the creation of the 1938 track Heart and Soul. Now, I should explain how the chord progression works, and I don't know how well I'm gonna explain it because I am an absolute dingus. Yes, I've been watching a lot of dank pods recently. I am also going to explain it in the key of C major. So the progression starts on the C major chord and then goes to the A minor chord, which sounds resolved and nice. The A minor then goes to the F major, which then goes to the G minor. And these chord changes help build tension, and the tension gets resolved when the G goes back to C and starts the progression over again. The change from G to C, or five to one, is known as an authentic cadence here in the US, and probably Canada, or a perfect cadence in Great Britain. Like any good chord progression, variations exist. For instance, adding a dominant 7th to the 5 chord. Another common variation is the 1, 6, 2, 5 progression. As I said earlier, Blue Moon can be performed with either the 2 or 4 chords because of their similar function harmonically in the chord progression and the key, and they share two out of three notes just depends on the performer on whether they are going to use a two or four chord songs like more than a feeling by boston and she drives me crazy by fine young cannibals use the one four six five chord progression which swaps the six and four chords and is also similar to the axis of awesome one five six Four chord progression. Sleepwalk by Santo and Johnny use a chord progression that uses the minor four chord instead of the major four chord. So in the key of C, it would use C major, A minor, F minor, and G. Now onto the list. I'm only going to use a few of the songs listed by Wikipedia that use the 50s progression. These might include the variation with the two chord but I'm going to uh, mention when the song uses that. So, the first song they have is Heart and Soul by Larry Clinton and B. Wayne from 1938. Beyond the Sea by Jack Lawrence and Charles Trennett from 1946. Earth Angel by The Penguins from 1954, which to me, that is the first song that comes to mind when, when I think of the 50s progression. All I Have to Do is Dream by the Everly Brothers from 1958. Donna by Richie Valens, also from 1958. Love Hurts by the Everly Brothers from 1960. 
and its cover by Nazareth from 1974. The Marcells version of Blue Moon, which came out in 1961. Who Put the Bomp in the Bomp 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 by Barry Mann from 1961. Stand By Me by Ben E. King from 1961. Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett from 1962. Oh Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison from 1964. Tell Me Why by The Beatles from 1964. Crocodile Rock by Elton John from 1972. We Go Together from the Grease soundtrack, also from 1972. Don't Dream It, Be It from the Rocky Horror Picture Show from 1975. Telephone Line by Electric Light Orchestra from 1976. Oliver's Army by Ellis Costello from 1979. Enola Gay by Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark from 1980. Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler from 1963. Eternal Flame by The Bangles from 1989, and its cover by Atomic Kitten from 2001. The title theme of Dr. Mario by Hirokazu Tanaka from 1990. In the Aeroplane Over the Sea by Neutral Milk Hotel from 1998. Mama, I'm a Big Girl Now from the Hairspray Broadway show from 2002. Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis from 2007. Baby by Justin Bieber from 2010. Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars, also from 2010. Friday by Rebecca Black from 2011. We Are Young by Fun featuring Janelle Monet from 2011. Blank Space by Taylor Swift from 2014. Dear Future Husband by Megan Trainer from 2015. God is in the Rhythm by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard from 2015. Perfect by Ed Sheeran from 2017. Dura by Daddy Yankee from 2018. Me by Taylor Swift featuring Brendan Urie from 2019. And the most recent song, Cupid by 5050 from 2023, which uses the 1, 6, 2, 5 chord progression starting on the 2 chord. The 50s chord progression can be traced all the way back to the 17th century and has appeared in various notable compositions throughout history. For instance, this guy's setting of Psalm 42 features an ostinato bass line that illustrates the 50s progression, and it sounds like this. Johann Sebastian Bach's cantata named Wachet Auf, probably mispronounced that, uses a rendition of this progression, which sounds like this. This particular progression is a reoccurring theme in Mozart's work. In his Piano Concerto number 24, the progression is articulated through bassoon arpeggios, and that sounds like this. And in his Piano Concerto number 22, he extends the progression by incorporating suspended chords. And that sounds like this.
music critic Eric Blom, here is this passage as, quote, The height of cunning contrivance resulting in what is apparently quite simple and obvious, but what could have occurred to nobody else, unquote. And that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't really know how to write or record these outros, but uh, thank you for turning in. And if you made it this far, uh, leave a comment saying yar har har and a bottle of rum. I've also been listening to shanties recently, so... In the next video, I'll delve into the concept of point nine nine nine, And I might have to use the simple English Wikipedia article for point nine 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 as a basis for the script because the original normal English Wikipedia page has math formulas that I do not understand. That's for a different day, and uh, I'll see you then.